is Tiff back again with another Creative Flow. Is this the first time you've tuned in for a Creative Flow project with me? Well, this is how it goes down. Is Erin from Happily We Go sent me a Creative Flow. I have to pick out three items that I have to use in this project every two weeks. So what I'm doing here is I just took a large white envelope that I'm going to use to create a Happy Mail. So this is some very beautiful printed scrapbook paper that she mailed me. And I'm just simply going to um, glue it on the background of the envelope so it'll make for a very pretty envelope that I will ship something in so um, I already knew what I wanted to um, mail in this so I just wanted to make it um, a little more square than a long rectangle um, envelope would be so that's why I kind of folded it down to make it a square and now I'm just gluing down with my Uhu glue stick I'm going to glue down that beautiful scrapbook paper ladies this is a beautiful way for you to be able to use all of those that scrapbook paper that you have um, that you're not sure exactly what to do with here is a great way to be able to use that up and make a pretty envelope to mail something so if you've not watched the creative flow um Aaron is actually going to be doing a video as well so when you get through watching me go over there and watch her and see what she did this week and as you saw because my paper wasn't quite long enough um, I added that teal um, scrapbook paper at the top and just making sure that it's good and stuck down. And for the type of art that I like, which is kind of random and messy, I didn't mind the torn off bits. If you do not want that, there's going to be some extra scrapbook paper that we cut off that we could have actually used. But now I'm going to go in with some white gesso. This is by Deco Arts and my palette knife and just go over um, ever so lightly and kind of bring that background, break the background up just a little bit. I do like random messy art so for me it was a little too cutesy so I wanted to break that up with the gesso and you want to make sure that you dry it very well before you move on to your next steps. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday and that you're making time to art this week. So now I knew that I wanted to use the Deco Arts white crackle paste but I decided to use the pink um, Master's Touch acrylic paint to tint the crackle paste and make it a pink crackle opposed to a white crackle. Now this is the first time that I've done this and I don't necessarily know that there's a ratio that you should be using here or not. Um, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and using a little more than 50-50 with the crackle paste and then bringing that in. And I love the way the crackle paste makes it look like peeled paint. So again, just to make sure that I'm breaking up the background and for it to look, give it a pretty neat effect. It is important when you use crackle paste to let it dry naturally. So I did have to just let it dry a little bit before I could um, move on to the next step. And if you can tell here, I hope you can, that the crackle paste did a great job. And now I'm going to go in with the Lyra graphite stick and I'm going to go in with the blending stomp. And this is just going to make that peeled paint crackle pop as you can see here just a little bit more on the background than it would without um, the graphite so this makes for a really cool interesting technique that you should definitely give a try i'll link the um the crackle paste is available on Amazon. I know that Deco Arts has it in white and in clear. I have not tried the clear yet, um, but I hope to in the near future. And then I'm just going to go in around up at the top and just adding just a slight bit of grunginess as well as a little contrast um, to the colors that we have here.
fun stuff. I like how that, and then I'm just adding a little bit of scribbles and scratches because, well, I just like it that way. <laughs> I just like messiness, so that's what I'm going to do there. And then when I was going to get my paper plate, I did grab another piece of um, scrap. This is actually from the flow. Um, it was like a paper bag, I think, that um, Aaron had sent. And so I'm cutting that and just kind of tearing strips. And this will be where you would address um, this to the individual that you're going to be mailing it to. It's way cool to be able to get an envelope out of your mailbox that's all pretty than it is just to get all boring white one. So, I hope this inspires you to go out and make some mail art to be able to send to your friends, pen pals, um, whoever. I'm sure they would love it. And then, I really thought that this was pretty much completed. And I even kind of said bye to you guys. And then I'm going to pop back in here in just a minute. And I'm going to add a little pop of gold um, with the Daniel Smith... Um, gold gesso and as well as um i think a few little marks that maybe i did off camera and so here i come back with the gold gesso guys i hope this has really inspired you to go in there slap some paint down and remember guys stop stressing it's just paint get in there and make beautiful art i hope you'll hop on over and check out happily we go's channel erin decoast down there below you'll see her link give her some love make sure you click subscribe guys and leave me a comment until next time to lose